Thanks for staying here on News Desk. The Foreign Affairs Ministry has denied claims that it signed an agreement to purchase a chancery and ambassador's residence in Oslo, Norway. Ranking Member of Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee, Samuel Okujetua Blakwa, alleges government is buying the building for $12.21 million after it was sold to the current owners in August 2017 for $3.5 million. He says about $8.5 million gap in the difference is uncalled for. Now, the issue came up as the House debated budgetary estimates of the Foreign Affairs Ministry for approval. Investigations that we have conducted on this side reveals that the $16.5 million that this committee, the Foreign Affairs Committee, has been presented as a budget for the new mission in Oslo, the Chancery and the Ambassador's residence is outrageously high. It is outlandishly inflated, Mr. Speaker. The Chancery, the Chancery building, the Chancery building, I have the records here, Mr. Speaker. This building was bought in 2014 for 25.2 million Norwegian krona, which is equivalent to 2.9 million United States dollars. Oh, then in 2017... Honorable members, I mean, this kind of... I'm listening patiently. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Please stop that kind of approach. Mr. Speaker, according to the... Mr. Words. Speaker. Uh, okay. Mr. Speaker, according to the Norwegian financial newspaper, known as Finance Servicer, Lillian Olsen sold the property in August 2017 to an unknown buyer for 31 million Norwegian krona, which is equivalent to 3.5 million United States dollars. Then our foreign ministry is buying this property at 105 million 180,000 which is equivalent to 12.21 million dollars a property that was sold for only 3.5 million dollars last year august last year so what is going on what who did the due diligence well, the North Tong MP, who's also minority spokesperson on foreign affairs, did not back down on his position, insisting he had documents to support his claim. Well, this accusation by the minority forced the Speaker to suspend sitting for further deliberations. But uh, Mr. Okutetua Blakwa and Shelia Yokubotri continued the debate within the corridors of Parliament, resulting in heated verbal exchanges. I don't know I don't That was quite a scene in Parliament uh, yesterday. Well, the ministry says in a statement that it only expressed interest in two properties in Oslo, Norway, but has not entered into any binding contract. Let me bring you further details in that statement. And it starts by saying the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration 
has taken notice of an event emerging out of parliament where a section of the minority is alleging corrupt motives into plans by government to ac acquire a chancery in Oslo, Norway. The ministry takes very strong exception to the minority's vigorous attempt to impugn corruption into the said transaction by claiming that the price of the chancery has been inflated by $8.5 million for the avoidance of doubt. Here are the facts. Well, the statement further says the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has not signed any agreement to purchase the said properties, that is the Chancery and the Ambassador's residence. The Ministry expressed interest in two properties in Oslo and as required by the Public Procurement Act, commenced due diligence on the properties with the assistance of a property valuer and a reputable lawyer with expertise in the acquisition of properties for diplomatic missions. As of now, the Ministry has not entered into any binding agreement with the owners of the properties. The Ministry wishes to categorically state that no payment has been made towards the purchase of the properties. Therefore, there has been no financial loss to the state. Further says the Ministry strongly rejects the unfounded claims by the ranking member of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Foreign Affairs, Samuel Okutetua Blakwa, and a section of the minority that seeks to give the erroneous impression that the ministry was engaged in some fraudulent transaction with owners of the two properties. Such uninformed allegations and hasty judgments involving a diplomatic mission could damage not only the image of the country, but jeopardize relations between our two countries. Well, yesterday the Minister of Foreign Affairs decided to speak after uh, what happened in Parliament. I said discrepancy. The discrepancy between the figure that the article quoted and this um, document that was brought to us. Immediately, I asked them to stop or stay all proceedings on the, on the transaction. I'm even told that the, the owner is speaking to, he has three different offers and he's speaking to them. I do not intend in any way as at least as at last week, I had no intention of continuing with that uh, transaction, the purchase. Let me say that Norway is a very expensive place, and that is a fact. Properties are very expensive there. So I asked them to start looking elsewhere, or even temporarily, um, we should rent for both the chancery and the residence. So that is where we are. And so for the ranking member to use words like um, fraudulent transaction, outrageously inflated, and all, all those uh, words, I found it uh, very unacceptable. Because if he had taken the, the, the pains to talk to me before, I would have given him the information that having had this uh, issue come to my notice, I've asked them to, 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 to abrogate, I mean, not, not go uh, uh, forward with, with the transaction. Madame Ayokopotre also denied assaulting MP for Ningo Pram Pram, Sam George. And then you're, you're talking about alleged. Do I look like somebody who can assault a man? <laughs> so we'll take one more in English and then Pardon? we'll take a few more in... Um, the video going out there, mm. so you may want to speak... The, the video was a heated conversation between myself and um, Okujito Ablakwa, who is the ranking member. And in the, in the conversation, I was very disappointed and um, he was also talking back and I was making my point clear to him that I felt he should have consulted me or asked me where we were at concerning this Oslo matter before going on the floor. Because if he had, I would have told him that it's no longer an issue. And that is how, it was a very heated conversation. I think that, I mean, and that is went, allowed. Went, went off, I went off, I stretched, yes, and then, let me, let me, yes. And let me say that, um, as we were having that heat, heated conversation, uh, Sam George had his phone up recording it. That is a violation of, of privacy. That is not acceptable. Why is everybody talking about, I mean, my stretching my hand to do what? To hit him, to assault him. How would I do that? What, would, what was I going to do? I was talking to him that, why, why are you recording? I'm sure you heard me saying, why are you recording? Why are you recording this? 
It's good. Let him go because then I will also go to the privileges committee and talk about the fact that he violated my privacy. I was having a conversation with somebody. Whether I was heated or not, it was a conversation. He had no right to violate it by putting a, a, a phone in our face. He's actually in my face trying to record it. That is not that is not acceptable. Okay, so, so were you asking Re relax, you relax, 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 relax. There's one more It was question. a gesture. It was not an uh, it was a gesture. There is one more with my hand. We'll but take. it definitely was not an attempt to, to, to assault him, to slap him. Meanwhile, Chairman of Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee, Frank Anodon Press, says he isn't convinced yet that Ghana is getting value for money for the planned purchase of that embassy building in Norway. The minority claims the cost is bloated by $8.5 million, but the minister has denied this. Mr. Anodon Press says the House needs to see more documentation on the transaction. Watch news desk with me, Bernice Abu Bedulansa. Coming up in business, Bank of Baroda to shut down operations in Ghana. Daryl Kwao is standing by with the latest. <laughs>